Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I style my hair and my top three most used hairstyles. This video is in collaboration with Bellamy Hair. I love their hot styling tools and brushes and also extensions. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the first hairstyle, which is straightening my hair. So this is my natural hair texture. It is kind of wavy, a little curly, but definitely thick and poofy. So what I like to do is brush it all out and I'm using the Bellamy Detangler brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. It doesn't pull your hair at all. To part my hair, I'm going to just kind of part it in half and put all of one half um, to the side. And then I'll be focusing on the other half and I'll be parting that up a little bit um, more sectionized. So like two to three sections. I like to use a little bit of heat protectant on my hair. I'm not too picky about it, I just like to spray it and kind of massage it in my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and part my hair and start working on this section. And the hair straightener that I'm using is Bellamy as well. And this is a really good hair straightener. I've tried a few different types and this one has been my fave so far. It just heats up really, really good. So I do like to straighten my hair in parts and the reason why I do this is because I notice that if I just go ahead and straighten my hair without parting it, I never really get all of my hair straight. There'll be chunks of waviness and poofiness so when I part it, I get all of my hair so that it looks nice and slick at the end. Slick or sleek? I think it's sleek. <laughs> So yeah, when I'm straightening my hair, I like to make sure that I get it all the way from the start to the end. And I like to straighten it a little bit inwards just so that the hair has a little bit of like movement towards the bottom. And it doesn't look completely like flat down. So this takes me about 45 minutes to an hour. Granted, I do have a lot of hair. If you have less hair than I do, it'll probably be faster. Straightening my hair is one of my favorite hairstyles just because it's really easy to maintain throughout the day. It looks really nice and posh and it's just, you know, it's easy to take care of. And as I'm straightening my hair, I also like to be brushing it just so that it could look like smoother and there won't be any tangles in there. And that is the first look, just simply straight hair. Alright, moving on to the second look, it is my high split ponytail. I do this very often just because I think it looks cute and kind of like playful and fun and reminds me of Mariah Carey and Ariana Grande. So what I'm going to do first is add some extensions. So this is the Magnifica 240 24 inch extensions from Bellamy and I am using the color like natural black off black there we go and I'm only adding like three um, clips of hair into my head for this just because I already kind of have a lot of hair and 
I want it to really blend in with my hair nicely and I don't want to be too precise when adding them in just because this is kind of like an easy hairstyle to do. So therefore I'm only going to add like one to two strips. I'm sorry, I mean two to three strips. And I always add like the four to five clips. I never really bother with the three or like the two, especially the ones, except when I'm doing um, a really big hairstyle, then I do add them just to kind of give my hair more volume and more life. So this is just a one clip looks in my hair. And as you can see, it blends perfectly in. So what I'm going to do is section what part of my hair I'm going to be using as a ponytail. I don't like to grab too much hair just so that my ponytail isn't heavy. And you want to go ahead and brush it out real quick so it looks just a little bit cleaner and there isn't any bumps in your ponytail. And again, I'm not too precise, I just go by what I feel. Once I have that, I get a hair tie and I start kind of cleaning out the ponytail and then I'm going to be securing it. And I go ahead and probably like secure it like two to three times. And adjust the hair tie and then what I do is pull at the ponytail and I notice that by pulling it, you'll get it to really kind of sit on top of your head and give you like that cute little effect. And I usually use a black hair tie. I think it looks much better, but this time I just had this. But this is what the hairstyle looks like. It's just a really simple, cute hairstyle. Alright, so that was look number two. Now we're going to be moving on to look number three, which is my messy bun, which I wear all the time guilty of it i need to start figuring out new hairstyles because the messy bun is just my ultimate fave so what i do for my messy bun is literally just pick all my hair up and as i'm picking it up i'm brushing out all of like the bumps to try and get a nice smooth little appearance and I like for it to sit like on top of my head so it doesn't look like a very sleek posh bun and it looks more effortless and I start wrapping it around to make like a little onion looking bun and once I have it on top of my head, like I do here, I go ahead and secure with the hair tie like one to two times. My hair usually won't require me to tie it more than twice. And then once I have the bun sitting on top of my head, I take out my baby hairs or just hairs from the side to make it look even more kind of like casual and just messy, effortless. And then what I usually do is get bobby pins and put in any bumps to make it look a little bit neater. But this is kind of what I came up with today. I feel like it's always a lot better when I'm doing it off camera, but... So these are my three easy hairstyles. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really always appreciated it. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.